Disclaimer, I'm in training to compete at the Pan American Games in Brazil with the U.S. kickboxing team. I have incredible sponsors that are supporting me. When you hear me promoting your service, product, or absolute wonderfulness of one of them over the next six weeks, check them out and know that their stuff is the best of the best. Also, you rock for watching. Back to your LVA scheduled program. It's time for tips from my toy old. Hey, it's time for another tip from my Toyota. It's Halloween this week and I am here to tell you how not to overindulge in Halloween candy. Um, it's pretty simple. Don't buy any Halloween candy. And then um, if you have to, because you might look a little bit scroogey if you have kids coming up to your house and knocking on your door and Sometimes I just turn the lights off and I hide. But um, if you want to, you want to give graciously to those adorable kids in their creative costumes, then buy gross Halloween candy. I mean, like Clark bars. Ugh, I wouldn't eat a Clark bar. I, you'd have to. You couldn't pay me to eat a Clark bar. Or, oh, sugar daddies, they got all stuck in your teeth. No, I don't like sugar daddies. I don't like Butterfingers, but I've been known in desperate times, under desperate circumstances, to down a ton of Butterfingers. So I, I won't get those. It Like, here's the thing, you have to get candy that you absolutely, under no circumstances, are gonna dive into. Last week, my husband came home with early Halloween candy. I, and I was like, what are you doing buying Halloween candy? He's so prepared, but it was like a week before Halloween and he brought Reese's peanut butter cups home. I mean, you do not under any circumstances buy Reese's peanut butter cups to hand out. Yes, you will be the cool house, but you're gonna run out really fast because you're gonna put all of them in your mouth. That's what I did and I made him take the rest to work and now we don't have any in the house. Um, you could also hand out like stickers. Let's not help uh, kids get obese. Let's not help kids indulge in the Scrooge. over Scrooge. over abundance of sugar that we have going on in this world. That we are we are suffering as adults from sugar addiction. Scrooge. You could um, give them little bags of carrots. Like those little bags of mini carrots. Here's the thing. If you don't want to overindulge in Halloween candy this year, don't buy any Halloween candy. And it doesn't mean that you don't have to... It doesn't mean you don't have to give out something great to the kids. Just give them something creative, different. That's not candy. And, you know, it's not Scrooge. Stop. The kids are going to get candy elsewhere. They're, I mean, you know, they're going to get it. But you don't have to give it to them because you know that if you buy it, you're going to eat it. So don't buy it. You have got to do whatever you have to do to make sure that you don't eat too much Halloween candy, though. Do whatever it takes. You go ahead. You dress up as a witch and you be a witch. And you answer the door this year and you go, Boo! No Halloween candy for you this year. If I can't eat it, you can't eat it. And that's my tip for this week. Next week will probably be nicer but I'm not very happy that I can't eat any Halloween candy this year. This is horrible. What? This, that's just, you're the worst. No, it's helpful. Not helpful. It's a healthy tip. Pouring vinegar on your children's candy. To not, it's a healthy tip to avoid overindulging in sugar. And your kids don't need it anyway. They can have three pieces or Are you four calling pieces. my kids fat? Not so yet. Just They're not yet. They're not yet, but they might be if you let them eat all their Halloween candy. Oh my gosh. Right? What? What? It's over. That's fine. This is, you know, this is how I handle it.